Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Well, yeah, it's Thursday. It's a day early, but tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Uh, so this will be our last uh, podcast before the holiday. Uh, Mike sent me this uh, question that he received. Uh, what a great question. We need to do a VLOOKUP, but we need to do a comma true version of the VLOOKUP, but that's not the real problem. Here's the trick. Depending on what product they sell, there's one of three commission tables that have to be used, and those commission tables all have different rates. So here's commission table one. You see there's levels at 1,000, 2,000, 5,000. Here's commission table two. Oh, look at that. Different levels, 200, 700, 1,500. And then commission table three. Uh, the one thing that I really like about all of these is they all happen to be in A1 to B7. That makes life a little bit simpler. All right, so we're going to start out with equal V lookup, just like you would expect. And we're going to go look up this sales amount. And now we need to go look up the right table. All right, well, I'm going to do that using indirect. With indirect, uh, the indirect function says, hey, I'm going to provide you some text. And that text is going to evaluate to something that looks like a cell reference. All right, so here's the trick. Choose table one, two, or three. And now I have to provide it the name of that sheet. So if it's table one, it's M12. If it's table two, it's M55. And if it's table three, it's M43. Now, depending on which sheet we get, we're always going to have to append every single time after that the exclamation point and then A1 colon B7. All right, now, notice this. I'm not putting dollar signs in there. I'm going to copy this formula down. The one problem, most of the time it's a problem, with indirect is that as I copy that down, the reference doesn't change like it normally would. Um, but in this case, it's actually to our advantage. As I copy this down, the reference isn't going to change. Cool, right? OK, so that indirect is going to evaluate to one of those three sheets and point to A1 to B7. Then we need the second column. And then not a comma false like we always do, uh, comma true. But it turns out that if you don't put anything, it's the same as putting comma true. So we'll just finish that there. And we get 1%. Let's format that maybe as a percentage and double click to shoot it down all right and we'll do a little test here so here in commission table three nine hundred twenty dollars we'll go take a look at the third commission table should be one percent let's come back and hey it worked isn't that cool all right mike says that he has a great solution for this so mike let's see what you have Thanks, Mr. Excel. Whoa, I love this formula. Two things about it. One is, uh, just from the sales number and the commission table number three, he built sheet references. So one, he didn't have to mess around with doing sheet references. And two, I love this trick with indirect. Of course, because it's text being copied down, it's as if it is absolute. All right, uh, I'm going to do something similar, but I'm going to go ahead and not use indirect. In indirect is volatile, and I think it is the way to go in this situation, but some people don't like volatile functions. Volatile just means every time you do something, it updates and recalculates. All right, I'm going to do a VLOOKUP, just like a Mr. Excel, and then for the table, I'm going to use just the choose. Choose. Now, the index number, I'm going to go here, and the way choose works is if you put a 1, 2, or 3 here, or any number, you just list all of the uh, um, things that you want to choose from or look up. So this will be either 1, 2, or 3, depending on what's there. Value 1, guess what? Choose can have numbers typed in, text, functions, formulas, or references. So I'm just going to click here and hit the F4 key and then comma. See, you could see it evolving up here. And then click over here, highlight that range, and F4 to lock it, and then comma. And I can see the formula evolving up here. And then come back over here and get that range right there, F4. right? So you could see this evolving up here. Close parentheses. Um, and then I the screen tip's helping me out greatly here. It says, A, hey, you just put the table in. So to get to the column index, I'm going to type a column. Column index, it's always going to be 2. And then we don't need the last one, because this is approximate match lookup. So close parentheses there, and Control-Enter. Now I can double click and send it down.
And sure enough, now choose is choosing amongst three sheet references that I had to put in manually um, based on whatever's in um, one, two, three cells to my left. And then, of course, the VLOOKUP is looking up the right number. All right, uh, throw it back over to Mr. Excel. Uh, Mike, I had to turn on Evaluate Formula. I can't believe that this works. That choose returns some text, and that text looks like a cell reference. Why don't you need indirect around that? Can't hardly believe it. Also, I love uh, Isaac checking in there uh, as you were doing the trick. So, hey, I, I can improve mine a little bit. I came here to these tables, and see, I created some range names. Uh, so we have uh, machine 12, uh, machine 55 for this range, and then machine 43 for that range. So then I come back to my formula and thinking about it, I don't even have to build anything. I can just say indirect of C5. Uh, so in this case, C5 is machine 43. So we're saying, hey, go take the named range. We don't even have to build which sheet it's on or anything like that. You can see that that works. All right, check it out. Wow, that's it. Point to Mr. Excel indirect to name and then just use this column over here indirect look at that so beautiful so efficient now um uh, well, I'm going to verify just quickly uh, machine 12 yes yeah, sure enough look at that machine for uh, look at that I'm using the name box to jump to navigate uh, so I'm going to use those same three I'm going to copy the sheet over I'm going to point to this and hold control and then click and drag and I'm going to let go of the mouse, not control, and then boom, I can get the second sheet here. I'll use the same names. We'll do equals V lookup. Lookup value will be one cell to my left, comma, and then I'll just use choose again, just like I did the first time, column index number, but here I'll comma, and then I can put named range. The first time I put the actual sheet reference, but now the names exist. I'll use F3 for paste name, and uh, 1 is 12, comma, and then F3 to paste the name, 40, uh, 55 is the second one, comma, and then F3 key to paste the name, and finally I'll do 43. So named ranges can be also be used and choose. I'll close parentheses, comma, 2, close parentheses. Control Enter. And so uh, not quite as elegant as VLOOKUP in indirect, but using names, you can use choose, not volatile. All right, um, I'll throw it back over to Mr. Excel. Mike, you know, people tell me they love the Dueling Excel podcast, and I can see why, right? You think you're tuning in for something called Look Up Three Tables, and along the way, you learn that you can control drag to copy a sheet. You learn that you can use F3 to paste names, and I learn that you can use range names in the choose. And I got to tell you, I, I never knew this. So I'm going to click inside the choose here and hit the FX button right next to the formula bar. That brings up the function arguments. This is like help on every single argument. So when I click in here, value 1, value 2, or 1 to 254 numbers, or cell references, or define names, formulas, functions, or text arguments from which choose selects. Look at that. You can use defined names. Now I'm kind of wondering if Mike sits around at his lunch hour just going through all 355 functions, reading the Excel arguments. That's obscure. I love it. All right. Hey, last podcast before the holiday. Hope everyone has a great, safe holiday weekend. Catch you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.